But four new video shows the moments leading up to a school resource deputy deploying his taser on a student inside a cafeteria. This afternoon, the sheriff's office is responding to that incident. It unfolded on Tuesday inside the Eustis High School ninth grade center along Bates Avenue in Lake County. News Six's Lauren Cervantes joins us there live tonight. And Lauren, the sheriff's office says the deputy's actions were deemed lawful. That's right. Sergeant Fred Jones called Deputy Billy Brown's actions a textbook example of how a taser should be used. And he said he himself is a former school resource deputy, says it's something a deputy never wants to do. And we want to warn you that the video you're about to watch may be difficult to see. Video given to us by the Lake County Sheriff's Office shows a struggle between Deputy Billy Brown and a female student inside the cafeteria at Eustis High School's Kurt Wright campus. The student can be seen striking Deputy Brown three times with her hand before she and Brown hit the ground. Damn. Where she hits him again. Eventually, they both stand up. Deputy Brown then told the student to stop resisting or he would tase her, according to a report from the Lake County Sheriff's Office. He continued to try to calm her down. She turned around and aggressively came toward either, high, either him or another student that she was going out to behind him. And that's when he deployed his taser. The student was arrested and taken to the Lake County Jail, where she was released to her aunt on home detention. Sergeant Jones says he spoke with Deputy Brown this morning. He says, I wish I wouldn't have had to do it, you know, and I said, I know that. But he said, I, I'm, even when things were hard, I was still talking to her. I was still trying to deescalate. Now, Sergeant Jones tells me that his deputy has a good relationship with that student, that she actually apologized to him after the incident, even asking if his face was hurt. Now, I do want to say that I also spoke today with the chief assistant state attorney's office, who says they are moving forward with charges for the student. He says that they will be felony charges of battery of a law enforcement officer and resisting a law enforcement officer with violence. But he says they have not decided yet whether they will be charging her as a child or as an adult. In Lake County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6. That is some intense video, Lauren. Thank you.